guys, welcome to your channel Budding Nurseries. Today we will discuss about mechanism of normal labor. So, in the normal labor, the lie is longitudinal. Lie is longitudinal. Presentation is cephalic, and presenting part is the vertex. And the attitude is good flexion. Occiput is the denominator. Uh, denominator is the occiput, and the position is left occipito anterior. So friends, there are 10 steps in the mechanism. Firstly, there will be descent. Then there is engagement and flexion and internal rotation of the head. Uh, there will be torsion of the neck. There is crowning and extension. And there is restitution of the head. Internal rotation of the shoulder. Simultaneously external rotation of the head and lateral flexion. So let's see the steps. Uh, uh, in the left occipital anterior position, the head is at left uh, left iliopectineal line on eminence. So left iliopectineal eminence, there is the occiput and the uh, 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 sagittal suture is at the right oblique diameter. Sagittal suture is at the right oblique diameter and the shoulder is at the left oblique diameter. And there is descent throughout the labor as I have discussed in the principles uh, uh, video. So, there is descent and which causes the engagement of the head. So, the piperitial diameter enters the brim. When there is engagement, BPD will enter the brim keeps on going down due to descent and when the head touches the pelvic floor so when the head touches the pelvic floor we get flexion so as there is flexion uh, so the head uh, when the head touches the pelvic floor there is flexion of the head which occurs and the sub occipital frontal is presented so uh, after the flexion of the head the sub occipital frontal will change to sub occipital bregmatic so there's flexion the sub occipital frontal will change to sub occipital bregmatic so uh, as the head is flexed now there's internal rotation of the head so, after entering, there is internal rotation of the head, 1-8 internal rotation and the uh, continued contraction and uh, now the occiput is behind the symphysis pubis due to uh, co co rotation and internal uh, this one and uh, the head further descends and this is called <laughs> crowning and then the widest piperitial diameter where the wi widest bi di piperitial diameter comes below the pubic uh, arch, subpubic arch and uh, which is uh, called crowning as I said and here the head doesn't recede back. When it is come, the head doesn't recede back from the pubic arch. So, it doesn't recede back and with further uh, contraction and uh, the uterine contraction and extension, so further contraction, extension, the head is born. And it is extension when the head is born. And now the, there is a twist in the neck, right? So, uh, the uh, twist of the neck is removed by restitution, which is the next step. And uh, now the head rotates to its place and move forward. And uh, now the internal rotation of the shoulder occurs, which makes it to move further forward. And the external, there is simultaneous external rotation which has been uh, rotated. Now it will rotate back with restitution and uh, external rotation. And now the iliopectineal, uh, the anterior shoulder was, which was near the right iliopectineal eminence now rotates anteriorly and comes behind the symphysis pubis. So whatever parts come behind the symphysis pubis and it will emerge out so the, the, there is moving uh, out of the body and the twist is also removed then there is uh, uh, the um, uh, birth of the anterior 
shoulder anterior shoulder comes beneath the pubic arch sub pubic arch and the anterior shoulder is been delivered so after this uh, the posterior shoulder sweeps the perineum from behind and the posterior shoulder is also born and then with lateral flexion the whole of the body is born so thank you friends i hope you would understand and this video would be helpful for you thank you please do like share and subscribe